Hey, what is going on, OC Hunters? Welcome to my new favorite Ram. So why is it my favorite memory? Well, it's white, it's RGB, it doesn't require any additional connectors uh, to make the RGB functions work. It's thin, it's perfect. Uh, they come in white and black. This one is a 3000 megahertz kit. Cast latency is at 16, 18, 18, and 38 with 1.35 volts. So uh, speaking of other specifications, this is a rank one kit, meaning that there is only one side of the PCB that is occupied by memory modules. There are rank two kits, rank one kits, but for this purpose of this review, it is a rank one kit. I'm gonna throw this on my test bench, which consists of an X299 Tai Chi uh, motherboard. Some footage you're gonna see later is from a Ryzen 7 system that I built earlier with this RAM. I just wanna see how it performed with that as well too. So it works with Ryzen, uh, but I'm gonna throw this on my X299 setup uh, and run through the Blitz software. Yes, Blitz software that runs on the ASRock motherboard as well as any other non RGB style motherboards. So uh, it supports natively now uh, ASUS Aura, MSI's Mystic Light, and Gigabyte's own RGB. So with that said, I'm gonna get over to some B-roll and uh, benchmark these babies and we'll come back to a conclusion. All right, and the benchmarks are complete. So quite an interesting result from the benchmarking session, uh, which I basically ran ADA 64, uh, ran basically two tests, one overclocked, one not overclocked. I don't need to overcomplicate this. So speed ran at 3000 megahertz, stock cast latency frequency. So 16, 18, 18, 38 at 1.35 volts, and then 3400 megahertz, same timings. So uh, the results were kind of staggering actually. So at stock, the memory read performance was at 42,148, the write performance 39,493. Uh, and then the copy speeds was interesting at 37,250. Latency was at 80.8 nanoseconds. So uh, interestingly enough, speeds actually increased to 46,677. Uh, on the read and then write was at 45 138 megabytes the copy was at 42 546 megabytes and the latency went down to 73.8 nanoseconds so quite interesting to see the results there the biggest thing with this memory kit is that it's white it's rgb doesn't require any additional uh plugins like the gil memory that's on my test bench as well it's just a nice put together package part of the package is going to be that blitz software uh, the Blitz software is pretty cool. You can do things like Comet or Starry Night or Yo-Yo Effect breathing. All those things are included in there. Uh, like I said before, it is integrated between uh, Gigabyte's RGB, Mystic Light by MSI, or Azus's Aura. So that's really nice to see integration between all the motherboards. That update came out last month. Uh, I do believe late February or early March. So I'm really glad I pushed this review out a little bit more so I can give Blitz a fair try. I know a few other reviewers didn't give it a fair try and it only worked with Asus Aura uh, software at that time. With that said, I'm gonna give this a five out of five flames. Uh, you can catch the product description in the description below um, as well as any other uh, things I used for testing. So give me a thumbs up and give us a subscription. I'm Blue Devil, check you guys in the next one.